welcome to No Movies in Hell. I'm LaCroix Scott. Today we were reviewing White Noise. I don't think I like this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're like right off the bat with like, mm, I don't like this movie. So this is your after sun for me. <laughs> I didn't leave though. I, I watched the whole thing. Because you had to. It was Netflix, right? <laughs> I didn't have to. I could have just turned it off and walked away. That's true. So you didn't get to that level of like, I'm not watching any more of this. No. Because I kept waiting for it to get better. That might be a problem that I have like generally <laughs> in life. Just keep waiting for things to get better. <laughs> Instead of just doing something to be like, this is not getting better. Just go. I think this was out in the movie theaters for like a week. Oh. And then I saw some you know, advertising for it, but not much. And it has Adam Driver in it, which I, I like what he does. And uh, Greta Gerwig. And it's like, okay. And Don Cheadle. Like, okay. I wasn't sure what it was about. I thought it was going to be more horror film. Mm -hmm. And then within the first, like, 10, 15 minutes, and the dialogue is very dense... And I'm just like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. I know it's the 80s. It's cool. I love the aesthetic. But I'm unsure of where this is going to go. And But I'll stick it out and see what happens. And I felt like it was all over the place. I didn't know what it was about. I knew that you had watched it. so I wanted to, And I could stream it. So given the limited amount of stuff that I can watch, that we can watch together, I was like, okay. I'll, I'll see that. It did seem like at a certain point that it was going to turn into a horror movie, which I was okay with, mm -hmm. but I, I was surprised because it's Adam Driver and Don Cheadle, and that didn't seem like a horror combination. But in the first few minutes, I felt like Adam Driver's character was doing a Woody Allen impression. Oh. Like just sort of this like <laughs> neurotic professor-like guy, um, or professor, not professor-like, he is a professor. I thought he did a good job of impersonating Woody Allen, but I did not like it. <laughs> <laughs> the subjects matter, like the things that they were talking about, the fear of death. That I mean, in some ways it could be considered a horror movie because mm -hmm. that's kind of the prevalent theme throughout it. Was it heavy enough to be dark and it wasn't light enough to be funny? It was just, it was all over the place. It was like, I don't this and then when it ended you were just like well i guess that is yeah did that. in a grocery store dance sequence i was like okay i did think they did a good job with the grocery store though like making it sort of this super color palette like very 80s but yeah i i like don Cheadle's character <laughs> he was great some of the kids, like the boy, I thought he was mm -hmm. fun a couple times. But yeah, I just kept waiting for it to get better. And it never really did. Uh, yeah. You got to try, right? You got to yes. watch a lot of things to know what you like. Let's go to the slides. I'm actually but, yeah. surprised that I read it at that high. I am too. But now that, now that we've been talking about it, I thought you liked this because I grabbed this slide to put it together but yeah well, I thought I, you liked it. it it's more of like the technical aspects and you know the costumes and, and hair because I'm an 80s aesthetic fanatic uh, and 90s I just love it so much and I thought they did a really good job to your point about the grocery store it's they actually it's so well plot out in terms of color and they used a lot of brand names which i was surprised that it wasn't as generic as other films are like how they it's cola or whatever instead of like a brand name and they actually had brand names in this so i like that but i just wanted more from the story and from the acting i felt like dialogue was very dense and great but also kind of repetitive in a way uh and rhetorical in some manner of like i'm an intellectual we all are intellectuals and we are speaking about this 
and trying to make sense of this really haunting and daunting thing that is happening to or could potentially happen to us and then when it doesn't happen it's like on to the next like okay everything's fine and then you know where does the plot go from there so yeah the subject matter is so heavy it could have gone dark but it didn't and that's where I wanted it to go, right? Like, we both thought it could be a horror movie. So, like, that would have veered into the dark part of it. But it did not. I'd be interested to see, like, how this movie does overall after it's been out for mm -hmm. a while. I didn't hear about it being in the theaters at all. Yeah, Nighthawk had it for a week. And I was like, oh, but this is, you know, it's going to be out on Netflix. So uh, I'll just wait. Do you have anything to plug in this episode? Uh, unfortunately, no. We're working <laughs> on some things in the background, so we will keep you posted. Did you see you that? Anything? Did you see that the Tribeca Festival is issuing an NFT? I did see that. Uh, they have a special ticket package, um, and you get an NFT with it. It's like that's your ticket to get into these events. So I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I wonder if LaCroix is going to get that. Oh, it's coming. I have to see when. It's a, it's like in April, right? June, so. I think. Oh, June. Okay. Yeah, I'd be curious to see. Maybe we should apply. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get it together. Yeah. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you next time.